cannot in most grocery stores buy boneless skin on chicken thighs. Usually if you want the skin, it's going to come with the bone also. But you can just take some chicken <laughs> kitchen shears and cut the bone out very quickly and easily. Just kind of go along the bone with your chicken, sh sorry, kitchen shears. I keep doing that. Use your kitchen shears to cut the bone out of the chicken. I did this a lot if I need to um, cook some chicken pretty quickly and I want that skin. I'll just um, cut that bone out, flatten out the chicken, and then it cooks in a flash. And then what I do is I save the bones. I put them in the freezer and save them for the next time I'm making stock. So you just kind of cut along. like that. I wasn't very neat with it, but um, you can probably be a little neater. You get the chicken bone out, and then you have a nice boneless skin on chicken thigh. So very easy to do. Um, it will cook quick, more quickly, but the time you save in cooking, you add in prepping your, um, by getting your bones out. But it's a, just a nice little trick there. So like I said, I have some chicken thighs that I am browning here in a cast iron skillet. You want to go on medium high heat in a tablespoon of oil. Now the recipe calls for four chicken thighs, but I used one to demo this deboning technique. Um, and you want to cook for about eight minutes until the, sti the skin gets nice and crisp. Yeah, like that. So it's starting to crisp up, get nice and brown. Ooh, that guy looks really good. And then we are going to just cook on this side for about two minutes. I'm going to fake that a little bit and place the chicken onto this rack. It's going to allow any of the excess fat to drip off and for the underside to not get soggy. This is going to finish cooking in the oven at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes. So I have potatoes in the oven. I have some chicken thighs that I have crisped up on the skin side. Those are in the oven finishing up. And now we're going to take those chicken drippings that are in the pan. So that's where, and we're going to cook um, our vegetables in it. Schmaltz is a Yiddish word for chicken fat. So when this recipe is called uh, crispy chicken thighs with schmal schmaltzy vinaigrette, this is the schmaltz. So those wonderful chicken drippings are here in the pan. I'm going to add some Brussels sprouts and carrots and cook those. Now I might cheat this a little because it takes about um, eight to 10 minutes to get these to cook. But you just want to get them in there to cook in all those wonderful chicken drippings that have rendered off. Again, this still gets the Cooking Light Nutrition seal of approval, so don't, don't worry about the chicken fat. Still only about four grams of saturated fat per serving. And for this whole one dish meal where you get vegetables, you get potatoes, I don't have the nutrition. Oh wait, yeah I do. Only 420 calories for the whole meal, so not bad. And it's really satisfying. So we don't believe in just depriving yourself and doing all fat free because that's not delicious. So um, you can have these nice chicken thighs. You can enjoy the fat from the chicken thighs. You can enjoy the skin. Maybe you don't eat that way every night, but it is a, a wonderful, nice wheat night meal that you can enjoy on occasion. So let's see. I need this pan to crank up a little hotter. So. Like I said, I might cheat these guys a little bit because it takes eight to 10 minutes. You want the Brussels sprouts to kind of lightly caramelize. You want the, cook, the carrots to cook until they're crisp, tender. You don't want them completely mushy, but you know, you should get, I like to turn the um, Brussels sprouts over in the pan so the cut sides make contact with the surface. That's gonna help them brown a little better. Um, and then after about you know, eight to 10 minutes, you'll have some nicely cooked vegetables. I have some that I've cooked ahead of time, so like I said, I'm gonna cheat this guy and pull the vegetables out of the pan a little early and then make the sauce that is the crowning touch. So this is um, one pound of Brussels sprouts. No, that's not true. It's two cups of halved Brussels sprouts. Maybe it ends up a pound, I'm not sure, but the recipe calls for two cups of halved Brussels sprouts and then one and a half cups of chopped carrots. I'm just gonna grab these guys out of the pan. So with this recipe, it's kind of a quick path, a quicker path to a roast chicken dinner. What we're doing here is we're trying to give 
all the pleasures of a roast chicken dinner, that crispy skin you get on a roast chicken, the nice roasty flavor, the roasted vegetables that accompany it, in a much quicker format. So by working with the chicken thighs instead of a whole chicken and kind of toggling back and forth between stovetop and oven, this all comes together from start to finish in about 45 minutes, which is much faster than a, roast chicken, a traditional roast chicken dinner. Okay, so I'm going to add, so I ha still have my skillet here on the heat. I'm gonna turn it off, and right before I do, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of sherry vinegar and try to scrape up all those delicious little brown bits that the chicken left in the pan. Three tablespoons of sherry vinegar. Then I'm going to just kind of add this to a little bowl where I have three tablespoons of minced shallots. Now ideally I want to get all this goodness here. Any little bits of uh, chicken, any of those crunchy bits, that's where the flavor comes in. It's a little heavy. <laughs> okay. So, I'm keeping the shallots raw because I like that sort of bite, that sort of crunch. If you want, you can saute your shallots for a minute or so to soften them. I wouldn't take them to completely tender because I think it would be a little less tasty. Um, here's a tablespoon of brown sugar. Now you can omit this if you're um, trying to stay away from, sh from sugar, but what it does is it sort of rounds out and balances all the flavors. You have the sharpness from that vinegar. The sugar is going to balance that sharpness very nicely. And then I'm just gonna add this to the rest of my olive oil here. I think this is about three, three or so tablespoons. Now I'm not whisking it like a traditional vinaigrette. I'm not trying to em emulsify it. And instead just kind of mix everything together. So you have the roast chicken flavor in here. You have these nice shallots that offer a little bit of sharp allium bite. You have that sugar that's just kind of balancing everything. All along, even though I didn't say it, we were seasoning everything with salt and pepper. Now, let me show you what the finished dish looks like. Let me move some things here. And I'll show you the chicken that I pre-cooked and the vegetables that I cooked ahead of time. So like I said, this all comes together in only about 45 minutes from start to finish. It's a whole dinner, a whole meal here. It's really gonna make your family happy. So here are the potatoes that cooked up, got all nice and browned. You see the vegetables that we cooked in the, in the rendered chicken fat. And now look at these guys. The chicken thighs, I just think are so beautiful. Um, skin is, uh, I guess you probably can't hear that, but the skin is so crisp. It's just a joy to eat this. Um, so let me plate it up and you can see what the dinner looks like when it all comes together. So each person, like I said, gets one chicken thigh. Let's see, let me plate up the vegetables first. So I'll plate up some potatoes, Yukon Golds, but as a reader um, asked about and suggested, you could also use sweet potatoes. And then we have the lovely carrots and Brussels sprouts that have cooked in the chicken fat gotten nice and caramelized and then everybody gets one of these awesome chicken thighs again chicken thighs are just so much richer than chicken breasts they're you know they do have more fat but um, they're just uh, so forgiving if you slightly overcook them they're not going to be dry they're going to always be delicious and then the thing that brings everything together is the schmaltzy vinaigrette so it has the chicken drippings has some nice shallots, um, a little bit of brown sugar to balance the flavors, and that is crispy chicken thighs with schmaltzy vinaigrette. So thank you so much for watching today. I would love for you to come back next week at this time. I'm going to go back to doing another meatless meal for my, uh, next Monday. So please tell me in the comments, what are your, some of your favorite vegetables to cook with? And I'll take inspiration from that and choose a recipe that I hope you guys will like. Thank you so much. Come back next week.